my first fish. I got it. I got it. Stay on. Oh God, it's a freaking big one too. It's a freaking big one too. Hey, what's going on flare fishing fam? Today is an exciting day. This is a video I've wanted to do for such a long time now. And, uh, and it's a video I hope a lot of you guys enjoy. I know Rob Lungers TV has done this and you guys ate his videos up. So I'm gonna give it a shot myself. Today I'm doing something different. I am bow fishing for the very first time. I have never shot a fish with a bow in my entire life. I, I just bought one. Actually, I bought it, brought it home. Perrick broke it, like instantly broke it. And then he never fixed it. So I went to, uh, went to the store, got it fixed and I'm back. And we're gonna go, I'm here, beautiful Texas right now. I'll be here today and tomorrow and then head back to Nebraska for Easter because family, family and Easter, it's important stuff. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. The issue with today is a lot of you guys don't know, um, maybe if you follow me on, I think Snapchat and Instagram, I might have posted it, but it's, I have a condition with my right shoulder called like hypo something dysplasia. I, I'll put it here, okay? Basically, I just found this out last fall and it is like a birth defect where there's like not bone where they should be. I'll pop a picture here. So over there is mine and then over on the other side is like a normal human's. And as you can tell, there's obviously like a gap missing in my shoulder. So that should be bone there and it's not bone. So I have an issue. Um, I found this out when I was sighting in my brand new bow for deer hunting season last fall and uh, hurt my shoulder really bad sighting it in. And I just thought it was because I wasn't used to shooting it because I know like it takes a lot, of, like, a lot of time to like build up that muscle. I ended up going to the doctor after like two weeks because it just hurt too bad. They did x-rays and that's what I found out. So you know life throws you lemons you make lemonade and just ignore what your doctor said and go shoot a bow anyway so if my doctor watches he's probably gonna kill me but he told me you'll never be able to shoot a bow again you can never shoot a bow and arrow ever again because it'll completely jack this up you're gonna need surgery i don't care okay no i do care i, I actually i care a lot but i but i've been like doing like little physical therapy on my own like going to the gym like trying to like work out which again he told me there's not really any amount of physical therapy that can really like cure this. It's mainly just building strength up to where it hurts a little bit less when you shoot a bow. Anyways, that's basically what's going on with my life right now, folks. Uh, I don't know. I may need surgery after this video, but I, it's something I can't like, I can't not bow fish. It's something I've wanted to do for so long. And I don't care if I have an issue with my shoulder, if I was born with a jacked up shoulder, like I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my best. And if I end up hurting my shoulder, then that's just me being an idiot. But that's essentially what's going on today. I just got a brand new bow, like I said. I'm not gonna be taking this camera with me though. I am going to just take the take the chesty and then put a, I'm actually gonna put a camera on the bow and hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully this, this car noise is not too much. Anyways, that's a long enough intro, don't you think? Let's go shoot some fish. All right, folks, here we go. Shout out to John B for the boots. Totally stole those out of the garage. Thanks, buddy, if you're watching. Here we go. My first so I want to give a huge thanks to my buddy Walker. He actually hooked me up with uh, with these spots. He told me told me about these spots. So I don't know if they're gonna they're gonna produce anything, but we have like the ideal condition. It's a little breezy, but we've pretty much got the ideal conditions today. Low wind, high sun, clear skies, warm, and it's been pouring rain the last few days, which you would think that would dirty it up and make it suck. But I guess I don't know. Walker said that after rain is always good. So. I'm just gonna kind of explore, venture around here and see if I can find some fish. Oh, there's a carp, there's a, there's a carp right there. Did I hit it? Did I hit it? The question is, did I hit it? Did I, is there a fish attached to this? It does not, it's not pulling all that hard, so I'm, I'm doubtful right now. Strike one. Well, that was a fish. He was not that close to the surface, so it's kind of a tough, tough shot I had. But hey, that's a, that means there. I mean, I'm gonna shoot a fish today. I'm telling you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. If I saw one that early, it's got to be a good sign. That was good. That was good. I talked to Walker. I said, Walker, it's my first time going. How many times did it take you to, before you actually shot and killed your first fish? He said 30. So that's one. We got 29 to go. Well, we've got a slight problem, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see that? Clouds. All those clouds over there are coming in this way. So, uh, yeah, that's if that happens, it's pretty much game over. It's pretty much just thick clouds over there. So that kind of ruined my whole day here. I should have showed up a couple hours earlier because it's been, oh, there's a fish. That's a gar. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's a gar right below me. Oh, God, there's a gar. He's tucked up in the bushes. He's in the bush. I can't get a shot on him. He's literally right down in the water. 
He's got to make a move. He's got to make a Cardi B money move. What are you doing, buddy? He's literally in this bush. This bush right in front of me. There he is. I get him? Did I get him? The question is, did I get him? That was probably the easiest shot anyone could ever ask for. You guys, you guys might have even been able to see that on the freaking GoPro. That's how close it was. Oh, God. Oh, that was an easy shot. I, I, done, I done goofed up right there. That should have been a... That should have been a domer for sure. Now that the sun's gone, it's like made my life a trillion times more difficult. Well, that's not good. My uh, my arrow tip is not, I mean, I've, I've held pencils sharper than this thing, so that's not gonna work. I didn't bring, I have other arrows in my truck, but I've already walked like half a mile. I should've brought these, I should've brought the extra tips. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna have to run back to my truck. Uh, oh no, that's not good. That's not good, folks. Well, I'm gonna leave the bow in the grass. I gotta go all the way down there. And I think that's that's where Walker told me the good spot was. In the clouds. That's like my the gap in the clouds that I can hit. So I've gotta I've gotta run and go get a new tip. Twenty minutes later. Oh, I got another uh, another head and I brought an arrow because it's about, I don't know, at least a mile, a mile back to the truck, and I'm only about a third of the way, fourth of the way through my loop. So Last thing I want to do is trek back two to three miles. If I uh, done goof again, so we got two shots here now to not screw this up. Now this is where things might get interesting. You see, I gotta go up on top of the road to cross the river carrying a bow. Probably not the probably not the uh, smartest guy. Oh, are there cops? Oh, what's going on here? Fire truck. Hopefully nobody freaks out and calls the cops because I'm carrying a bow. Probably not something you see every day while driving. Just some dude walking with a GoPro on, holding a bow. I took the arrow out of the uh, out of the deal, so it's not like I'm people don't think I'm like shooting traffic or something. We'll just hope the police don't get a phone call. Making my way. That looks like it's the juice. That's why I'm coming over here. There's like a little hidden pond. I'm thinking that's gonna have the have the mean girls in it that I'm gonna just dome with this bow. Huh. Oh God! Made it. All right, put the bow back or put the put the arrow back in. Let's make some magic happen, folks. Yeah, there there they are. There's a fish. Oh, there's a few of them. Here we go. Here we go. Stay where you are. Actually, come right to me, fish. They're coming right to me. I can see them. Where'd he go? There he is. Way high. Way high. Gosh darn it. It's gonna happen here, folks. Right here at this spot. There's gar. I just saw three carp. Completely, completely whiffed one. Getting the hang of the distance and like, there's not really a sight on these things. It's not easy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally sit out here till dark, until it happens. Oh, look at that. I actually hit one, look at that. Scales. I actually hit it. That's proof. Oh, well, you guys saw it. That's proof. This is sharp. What what happened there? You guys you guys know what happened. Let me let me know. Maybe maybe I got to get closer. Maybe that's kind of a far shot. Maybe that was it. But I hit him. That's good. That's good that I actually hit a fish. I actually hit that fish. There's a big car. Got it, got it, got it. My first fish. I got it. I got it. Stay on. Oh god, it's a freaking big one too. It's a freaking big one too. Oh my god. Oh my god. My first my first bow fish ever. Right here. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Look at that thing, dude. 
I literally was just walking up. The, the clouds are still here and I uh, just saw them and I, I aimed low. That was the thing, I aimed low. So I think we got to figure it out. Let's shoot some more. Woo! Oh, I see one. Oh yeah, he's shallow. He's behind this branch though. I don't know if I'm gonna see if I can sneak up on him going down this way. Yeah, there's a branch right in the way. He's not moving though, I don't think he sees me. Got him, got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yep. I got him, I got him. Yep, 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 I got him. Oh God, that's the second one. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, looks like he's been, look at that. Has he been shot before? Look at this, hang on. So that's where my arrow went, but look, he's got two, it looks like two dome marks, right? Right on the top of his head and then on the side, it's like he's been shot before. Oh, he's got one down here too. Oh, poor thing. This is not, I mean, not really poor thing. I just say poor thing and I just killed it. But he's been, I say poor thing because he's been, uh, he's been uh, struggling, you know? Like he's been, he's been suffering. I mean, it's one thing to kill these things and for i'm not showing this on camera obviously for obvious reasons you know demonetization but uh i'm bonking these things to kill them by the way with um with a rock i'm not just gonna let them sit here and, and suffocate to death but i can't show that on camera youtube doesn't like it but that's the second one for me yeah he's been hit before definitely sorry buddy well folks that's two down two in the same spot as long as this sun stays up i should be able to hopefully kill a few more that's good i'm thinking i'm getting the hang of this thing I think I'm getting the hang of it, baby. I see a gar. I see a gar. This is, now this will be the uh, the way to tell if I'm really freaking Robin Hood, if I can hit this gar. That's actually a pretty big size gar. It's a gar, yeah, that is gar. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, did you see that? It did a complete front flip. He's still right in front of me. I hit right next to him. Got him, got him, I got him, I got him. I got the gar, <laughs> I got the gar, baby. Oh, let's bring him in. I got the gar, there's no, I cannot believe I hit that thing. I just smoked this gar. I just smoked it. Yeah. Oh, it's a freaking good one too. I cannot believe I hit that. That was actually like two feet below the surface. That's the biggest gar I've ever seen. Look at that thing, look how mean and nasty that thing is. Look at all those teeth. You see those freaking chompers? Oh my God. That's a that's a pretty big that's a pretty big sized gar if you ask me. Well, there we go. That's that's the third fish. I went from missing I think I missed seven, seven or so, maybe eight, and then uh, that is three. Not in a row. I guess I shot at the gar twice, but uh, that's three fish. I'm going back to uh, that was the really good spot. But I'm going back over here. This is where I started shooting them earlier when right off the highway when I walked down here. We're gonna. We're gonna John over there. I'm not trying to freaking murder the entire population here, but I just want to shoot a few. Got it, got it, I got it, I got it. I didn't say anything on that one, I wasn't sure. Yep, I got him, I got him. He, oh, he's running. Oh, he's got me in the bushes. He's got me in the bushes. Oh, this is like fighting a frogfish. Get out of here. Oh, no, he come off. He came off. No. Wait, did he? Is he still there? Oh, he came off. Oh, I had him. Oh, that sucks. Well, I feel bad for him now. He's just going to be, he'll be swimming around with a freaking hole in his body. That one, I didn't say anything because I could tell that dude was really, really, really skittish. The second I stopped, he started swimming away slowly. So I wasn't, wasn't trying to, uh, waste any time dang it he he i literally hit him on the edge here and then he took me all the way back i got to be quicker on the on the retrieve apparently look what i just found i just found bones right here what, oh what is this oh this is creepy what it wonder what that is you guys have any ideas let me know i'm scared i think i'm gonna pull up a skull or something Oh, this is weird. What has bones like that? I mean, they're like literally human bones, but just small. Er. That's all I can see. And here's the other hip bone, it looks like. Oh, this is creeping me out. Anyway, just had to share that with you guys. As I am walking along looking for more fish, 
Well, here we go. Got to climb my way back up this, back on the other side of the highway. Oh, this is some urban bow fishing here. Don't mind me, folks. I don't have a bow or anything. All right, I made it to uh, the other side. I'm parked about a mile and a half, two miles that way. I'm gonna walk the banks. There are some fish down here. But again, like I said, I didn't want to tear up that pond. I mean, that's obviously a good spot I'd like to come back to. I don't want to sit there and freaking exterminate all of them. Again, they're not, they're not good. They are definitely not good fish uh, that you don't, you don't want them around. But that doesn't mean I want to kill every single one because I got to go back and get those. Basically, I piled them up. I have to drive my truck around here. I don't want to have to bring a ton of them home back to the Guggen house. I don't think they would like that very much. Get some light. There's the lights. We are back. Uh, we. Uh, hey, yeah, nope. 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 No one's here. I'm by myself. I am back at the Mystery Tackle Box house feeding Gary. Uh, if, as you guys see, I obviously did not shoot any more fish. Uh, the clouds rolled in, and I was I was not patient enough to stick around. I mean, I shot plenty of fish. Shot my first fish. Shot my first. Or shot my first fish total, which was a carp, and then shot my very first gar, which was awesome. And uh, so I ended up totaling with two carp and a gar and then the one carp that i stuck it rained me in the bushes that came off so i hit hit and like killed or i made a good shot on four fish landed three one got away and then i, I think i might have skimmed a few other ones i got a few different scales but it was a good day hope you guys enjoyed the bow fishing episode very first time i've ever done it if you guys like it make sure you hit the thumbs up and drop a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed well what the hell are you doing go ahead and hit the subscribe button too turn on the little notifications hit the little bell ringer thingy and uh i'll make some more i'll make some more bow fishing i honestly i had a ton of fun this was like a total great change of pace from the normal routines of just uh, catching bass which is great but it's it's just it gets old sometimes but you know shooting some fish it's fun now i see why rob that likes it it's, it's a lot of fun so if you guys like it, like I said, make sure you let me know, and I'll do more, which I plan on doing some more. My shoulder is actually feeling okay, so I'm thinking the uh, the therapy and the workouts that I've been doing at the gym have actually helped, uh, because when I first was shooting my bow last fall, I hadn't really been doing any like special therapy to like strengthen this shoulder, and uh, so we'll, we'll find out tomorrow when I wake up, but right now my shoulder's feeling good, so that's good, so screw you to the doctor who said that I'll never shoot a bow again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!